welcome. It's Dr. Brown from KNS Chiropractic, your Baltimore area chiropractor. Today, we are gonna dry needle somebody that is having some pain and some instability into the shoulder, along the trap muscle, and along the rhomboid muscle. I got, I'm talking a little bit loud because my microphone broke, but anyway, this is Raven. Raven works for us. She's already laying face down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we mark this and the muscles that we dry needle. Raven's having some instability in the shoulder along the shoulder blade. She had some x-rays and um, they did some studies to put stress on the area and they showed that, there, that there's some instability in the shoulder joint and through this area. So let's dry needle it. We're gonna try to stimulate some of these muscles. We're gonna try to stimulate some of the tendons. We're gonna try to get the bunch of trigger points. She has a bunch of knots in her shoulder blade. These. Um, knots that are in her shoulder blade are called trigger points. A trigger points an area of spasm that forms within the muscle. Those pockets of spasm have inflammation in them, they have waste products that are built up. We want to try to break all that up to give her some relief. If we can relax some of these muscles, the sh whole shoulder joint, whole shoulder girdle, including the shoulder blade, will start to function better. So let's, let me show you how we do this. We already wiped it down with alcohol, so we're going to find some of these spots. So this is what I do. I'll say, Raven, you tell me when you feel something tender. And right there, and I can feel, and you can, I don't know if you can see this, but you can feel the way it's like crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one. Feel that there? Mm -hmm. So we're talking along the rhomboid muscle here, and we're gonna go, and we're also gonna go underneath this shoulder blade. She's got some big knots. I mean, you can feel this real tender, right? Mm -hmm. So that shouldn't be here. So that's that muscle there. Underneath is the subscapularis muscle, which we're gonna get to also. She's got some trigger points in her trap, sore. Yeah, Anything right this there, lower? that one. This is, the... And this is the lower part of the neck. This is where your her, um, her her cervical curve and her thoracic curve, her neck curve and her mid back curve are meeting. This is an area where people have a lot of problems because there's a lot of um, attachment points in this area, and you got two curves coming together. When you have a curve going like this and a curve going like that, that area becomes a little unstable. Here, I don't know if you can see this, but. We're talking right through this area. So that's where this neck curve right here is meeting this uh, mid-back curve. This is an attachment point of a lot of different muscles. So this becomes a little tender, a little unstable in there. And we're gonna check around where her tendons attach. So we're here. Yeah. So this is where her rotator cuff muscles are attaching into this part of the uh, humerus. And we're gonna adjust that too. It's very, very tender for her. So. The whole goal here is if we can relax some of this area, if we can relax some of these tight muscles, her shoulder hopefully will get some more stability in it. Everything's relaxed, it starts to function better, and then we'll give her exercise to do, some rehab exercises to help strengthen that area, to help hold it in a better position. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use some one and a half and two inch needles. These needles are very, they're small, they're very thin, they're acupuncture needles. And let me show you how we do this. It doesn't hurt. Everybody wants to know if it's gonna hurt. It might be a little tender if I hit a sore spot, which is good, but nothing's gonna hurt. So here we're gonna try to get under here and go into this rhomboid muscle and get underneath this shoulder blade, just like that. So that's good. And is it tender, Raven? Does it hurt? Not too bad. Yeah, that's good. And I feel it go in. I feel them go into some of these tight muscles. So that's what we want. And we're trying to get right into the belly of these muscles and trying to break up some of those trigger points. That's right underneath that shoulder blade. So that's good. One more right here. And we're just kind of where these muscles insert and where we felt those tender points. Now I'm gonna do this lower part of her neck. Uh, and these are just one and a half inch needles. The ones that I just used were two inch needles. And we will make her feel better. And along with this, we will also we can also adjust this area, which we'll do. This is just right in this trap muscle. It's going to be a little tender for her because there's a big knot in there. 
And then I'm gonna go into this lower part of the neck where I was telling you where that neck and that upper back meet. And then we can tender right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little tender. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, then I'm gonna do the three here. Now, this is where the uh, rotator cuff muscles are attaching into the shoulder. And this can kind of be a little tender because I'm right in the tendon. Did you feel that? Hardly. Good. That one's right in there. And I'm gonna put one more. The whole, um, the muscle, we understand why we're uh, dry needling to break up the trigger points and break up the knots. In the tendon, what we're trying to do is trying to stimulate the tendon so your body realizes that this is a damaged and irritated area to help bring blood flow to the area to get that tissue to heal. Remember, tendons are a white structure. They have a very poor blood supply. So we need to stimulate them to bring blood there to get it to heal well. So tender, I know that's tender. I know I'm into some good spots here. You can see the needles are jumping too. So that means I'm right where they need to be. I don't know if you can see the way they're wiggling. I mean. I can see it with my eye. But that means that I'm into some of these trigger points and that's exactly what we want. We want that that needle to go into that area, to get into that trigger point, goes right into that muscle spasm. That muscle will grab that needle and the muscle spindle fibers will grab and they'll break up and they'll relax and that'll make her feel better. So I'll come back in about 10 minutes. I'll show you how we take these out and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, we're back. I'm gonna show you how we take the needles out. Takes a second, doesn't hurt. You've been in there for about 10 minutes. Very, very simple. Doesn't hurt, right, Ray? Mm -hmm. Okay, take those out of her neck. Take the few out of her shoulder. Good. So we'll wipe her down with alcohol and this is what we're gonna do. We, we're gonna treat her. She's gonna do some exercises after this. We've gotta get some stability in there. We've gotta get some strength around some of these uh, muscles that are weak. We will do that. I'm not gonna bore you, so I'm not gonna show you how we do that uh, on video. But I just wanna show you how we dry needle. And we're gonna do this for the next couple weeks, and we're gonna see how she's feeling. And uh, hopefully she'll feel better, which I would think she will. We've been doing dry needling for a couple years, and people are doing great. The results are phenomenal. So I will see you guys next week for another video or the next two weeks whenever I decide to put one up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, pain is not a lifestyle.